Welcome to part two of how to make a video and put it on YouTube. In this lesson, we're going to be using Windows Movie Maker to compile our video clips into a complete movie. From there, we're going to upload that movie to YouTube to finish the project. To begin using Movie Maker, click the Start button. Come up to All Programs, Across, and then up to Accessories. From Accessories, come across once more and down until you find Windows Movie Maker. Give it a click. Movie Maker will then open. Start using Movie Maker by importing your video clips, still pictures, and music into a collection. Here I'm going to select certain video clips from the YouTube folder. I'm going to hold down the control key and click one, two, three video clips, then click import. The video clips will be imported into the collections here, each one in its own folder. I can combine these three videos into one collection by simply dragging them to the collection folder. At this point, I can simply press the delete key on the keyboard to delete the old folders. Now all three video clips are in one place. Now you can see that I've added some still pictures to my collections. Before I drag these to the timeline at the bottom of the screen, I want to adjust my default timing. So I'm going to click Tools, then Options. I'm going to go to the Advanced tab make sure my timing is set for the desired amount of time for each picture or transition. I can also choose between the widescreen or the narrow screen view. Simply click OK when you have the proper settings. To assemble your video, begin by dragging your clips and still pictures to the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You simply need to drag these clips in the order you wish them to be viewed and drop them on the timeline. To adjust the timing of any of these clips, when you see a two-headed red arrow, you can click and hold and drag the end of the clip, either end, the beginning or the end, in order to shorten the clip by trimming the ends off. To trim the center out of a video clip, move the timeline marker to the portion that you want to begin cutting at. I'm going to remove this quiet portion here. I'm going to split the film by cutting with the split button located underneath the preview window. Now I'm going to advance the timeline marker to the end of that quiet section and split it again. Also note that there is a take a picture button here which captures a frame, a still picture from the video. To remove the center piece that I just cut out, you'll note that there are now three sections to the same scene. I'm going to right click and simply delete the center section, thereby bringing the two halves together. While you work on your video, it's a good idea to save the progress that you've made. Click File and Save Project. Here you'll need to give your project a name. I'm going to call mine YouTube 5. I hit the Save button. When the project is finished, that's when I'll save it as a movie, but not until it's a finished product. At the point where two video clips come together, the switch between video clips can be rather abrupt. Watch this scene as I play it in the preview window. Notice the fast switch between the two scenes. To alleviate this situation, you want to put a transition between these two clips. Go to the top of the screen, click on the drop box and choose Video Transitions. Scroll down, find your favorite transition and drag it and drop it between the two scenes. Note now that the scenes slightly overlap. This overlap area can be adjusted by dragging the rightmost clip either to the right or to the left. A long ramp indicates a slow transition, a short ramp indicates a quick transition. Let's play the scene again in the preview window. Note the gradual change between the two scenes. Adding an audio track or music to the background of your video might be one of the finishing touches. Simply import your music track the same way you did with your video clips and still pictures. Then drag the music down to the audio slash music timeline and let go. To hear your selection, play it in the preview window. You can adjust the volume of audio tracks by right clicking and choosing volume from the menu. Adjust the volume of an individual track or you can adjust the balance between an audio track, a music track, or a video track by moving this slider. Right-clicking on an audio track also gives you the option to mute the track, add a fade-in at the beginning, 
or a fade out at the end. You can also trim music the same way you did with a video clip by dragging the ends. Video effects can be added to your movie the same way transitions are. Simply select video effects at the top of the screen and add an effect by dragging it down and dropping it on the video. To see a preview of what your effect might do, simply click the video and look at it in the preview pane. One of the finishing touches for your video product would be to add titles and credits. Click the tax button at the top of the screen and choose make titles or credits. Then you can choose to have your title at the beginning, before a selected clip, on a selected clip, or after a selected clip, or at the end of a movie. Click on either one of these options and type in your word. The preview screen will show you what your finished product will look like. You can also add animation and change the text, font, and color. When you're ready, click Done Add Title to Movie. Title overlays will appear at the bottom of the timeline track. You can adjust the timing of title overlays and the position the same way you do with anything else that appears in this track. You can view them in the preview panel at the top of the screen. When your video project is complete, you need to save it as a movie. So click File, Save Movie File. Choose Save Your Movie for Playback on your computer, then click Next. Give your movie a name. Then click Next. Choose the quality for playback. You can click here to see more options. Click the Next button. When you do, your movie will begin saving. When the save process is finished, the movie will be ready to be uploaded to YouTube. Before you load up your video to YouTube, you're going to have to establish an account. If you don't have an account already, you might want to go to YouTube and click Sign Up in order to get one. So here we are at YouTube. If you don't have an account, you're going to need to click Sign Up. Fill out the forms, then you'll have an account. If you already have an account established, you need to log into your account. Here we are. Once you're logged in, your name will show up here. Your account name will show up here. All you need to do to load up a video is click Upload. The page will change, and at this point, you get to fill out this form. The first thing you need to put in the form is the title of your video. I'm going to put in How To YouTube. Yeah, if I could spell, I'd be all set. Part 1. Then you need to describe your video. Here I'm just going to put in a brief description. I'm going to expand on it later once I have all the information I need. Then you need to put your video in a category. So you can select a category from the drop list. This one's going to be a how-to video, so I'm going to click how-to and styles. Tags your keywords. You can add keywords that make it easier for people who are searching to find your video. So I'm going to add make video. After that, you've got some options down here. You can choose to make things uh, public or private, and you can allow comments and that sort of thing. I'm just going to go with what's here. Now I'm going to upload the video by clicking the Upload a Video button. The screen's going to change, and it'll allow me to uh, locate the video. So I click the Browse button. Don't try to type this information in yourself, because uh, it's very difficult to get it exactly right. My videos are located in my video folder, which is within my documents. So I'm going to click on my documents, scroll down, and I actually find my videos here. And now I need to scroll down and find the video. There we go. YouTube, part one. All right, once I click on my video, I click the open button in the corner and then hit the upload button. The video will begin to upload at this point, but it'll take quite a while, so you just got to be patient. When your video upload is complete, you'll see the following notice that will tell you that your video will be ready after it has been finished processing. That's all there is to it. Congratulations, you now have a video on YouTube. Well, that's it. You've successfully created a video and put it on YouTube. Hope you're proud of yourself. Hope you enjoyed this video lesson. Thanks for watching.